Andrew, can you speak up? We can't hear it. The compressor's running. Are no, you? I'm only kidding. Are you live? Oh, I don't know no, we're not live. Your video. We're, we're, we are making a video. video. <laughs> Is it awkward now? No, you're fine. Um, Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know your video. I wouldn't have. So, for Makita, we had great legacy in the compressor space yes. with our oil lubricated product. Uh, very efficient line. So, we're extremely excited to be launching this uh, Quiet Series line. So, we're really trying to define what quiet means from one of the major brands, and it's 60 dBs or less. You said 60? 60 dBs or so less. So, 60. 60. Six this particular unit, the Mac 100 Q, is our one gallon, half horse, 0.7 CFM, and it's only 58 decibels. Wow. Hence, we were able to have that conversation. We can talk about it, but on that design for Makita, what's also different or crazy for us is that we're all about roll cage construction, building quality, durable compressors that'll stand the test of time. This one's no different, even though it's just a little one gallon unit at approximately 25 pounds, the whole thing is protected which is a major difference versus our competition. It's also a dual pump design. You can see in there. I mean, I was, I was literally wondering, how do you accomplish making this compressor so quiet? Is that just through just isolation? The design, the, the design of the pumps. Oh, it's a pretty amazing. And so we have this little guy, and then we have their two brothers, that are in this that are 60 decibels, Mac 210Q, and then Mac 320Q. Two CFM, two gal, one horsepower. 2.6 CFM, three gal, 1.5 horsepower. Obviously, they look the same. They're like triplets, just different. And this one has two fittings. Cordless. When do you think we might see a quiet compressor from the Kena that's close? Uh, that's a great question. There are no wide cordless compressors today. Because right now the technology doesn't allow you to really build a quiet defined as we're defining it at 60 degrees or less. I can't comment on when that might come. But from that comment, it sounds like it might be in the works. Sounds like Andrew might know something. I may know something. I just might not share it today here in Nashville. I, I it's true. And if you like possibly finding the inside scoop, but not getting confirmation of it, then smash the like button because, quite frankly, that's for free. You can do that for free. Also, if you if you like the idea of not having to put in the earplugs when you're running a compressor, Get subscribed and tap the bell because you find out about stuff like this from Andrew. Oh, we appreciate your time. Of course. Yes. Thank you so much. You find that stuff out when you're subscribed and you have the bell tapped. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Uh, release date and price point? Uh, these will be released in the springtime and approximately for the little unit, it's going to be in the. Uh, Approximately 169. This is 169. Yeah, in that range. And final pricing is not set. Final pricing is not set. Going up to you know 259 ish. Okay. Competitive with uh, other compressors in the market today. The three gallon. This is three gallon down yep. here, right? Yep, yep. That's how much? Approximately 259. That's a that's a great price. Where we this to compete? make a lot of users happy with some awesome products. Right here we have our range of 60 volt flexible products. And when we launched this in 2016, the performance was significantly better than anything else cordless in the marketplace. Now we've upped the ante and we'll now go from what was 1800 max watts out to as much as 2,400 max watts out wow. on the circ saw. Similarly on the grinder and the recip saw. Significantly more power, significantly more throughput, and when you need it on the job site, it delivers. Wow. So I guess to handle that extra throughput, the electronics have maybe been improved and updated? Up updated, absolutely. Um, the other thing that you'll see on the on some of the tools here is the nine amp hour pack. Yes. 
And what was historically a six amp hour pack will now go to nine amp hour on some of the kits that we have. So not only do you get better output uh, performance, so as we talked about, about 30% more, 1800 to 2400 max watts out, but you also get longer run time. Gas tank and longer yeah. Run time. Let me ask you a question. I find this curious. It looks as though, I mean, Bill, in case you were not aware, I have a machine hand. You do have a machine hand. I have a machine hand. So we have, we have a 12 amp hour flexible battery, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're looking at 240 watt hours. Mm -hmm. We have a nine amp hour. This is at what, 208, what is it, 180, right? Mm -hmm. They look, battery operators. they look almost identical in size. Are they not? They're about the same size. They're about the same size, and you can see it's a little bit bigger than the, than the six amp hour pack. How, how, do we, how do we get those additional three amp hours out of a configuration that looks almost identical? So, when you look at the packs themselves, yes, um, you'll get different cells in the different packs. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So, some of the, our packs have 18700 cells. Okay. And these are 20, 18, 18650s. And, and these this are is 21700 cells. So that's the difference between these, even though they're in the, about the same size? Correct. Awesome. Correct. Awesome. I'm glad I asked. A lot I will of people don't know that information. That's why we got Bill here. What do you Now they know. This is pretty impressive number. 3800? 3600 peak watts out. They're 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 start up watts but we do have 1,800 continuous watts. This is an awesome solution. You know, some things like, and let me ask you, maybe we get some inside information here from Bill. The one tool that nobody seemed to go cordless yet, unless I just don't know about it, tile saw. Tile saw, Bill. Yeah. This power station has seen many a back hallway at a suburban shopping center where tile repairs have been made yeah. by us mm. to, to run the tile the saw. Tile saw. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, any, any news? Can you tell me they're coming out with a tile saw? Hmm. So we do have um, some cordless tile saw solutions. Solutions, but not maybe a, not a wet saw, like not a, not a. Battery powered wet saw. Battery powered wet saw, that's, listen. Yeah. Christmas is coming, my friend, yeah, yeah. and if I could put my wish list in, it would be for a battery-powered <laughs> tile saw. Okay. You think you talked Santa for me? Yeah. Cool. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited about all the upgrades. I appreciate you sharing all that information with us. Absolutely. Man. Thank you, Bill. You bet. How you doing? It's nice right, to meet so, you. Yeah. So, if you have a few minutes, yeah. we'd, we'd like a demo from you. They made it out of their chainsaw. Well, it's, it's a similar back end to the cutoff saw. Yep, or the um, cutoff, yeah. And the reason we did that is because um, with with this, obviously, if you use or if you're not familiar with uh, thread or threading, you have to use a lot of cutting oil to lubricate it so it doesn't get too hot. Okay. To clean. Um, these cutting oils are very corrosive to your standard battery pack. So this tool actually ships with a new pack, which is a oil resistant pack. That's nice. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's brand new. Um, so it's a nine amp hour pack. Hence the reason I've never seen ships, it. Ships with two of them. Um, that being said, this tool is just a standard flexible pack, so it works with everything else like our flexible packs do. You can use a standard flexible pack in this tool. This is a standard flexible pack. Uh, we recommend the oil resistant packs, uh, but that's why we have this battery bay because it protects the packs from those cutting oils. Gotcha. Now my, my question is, like this gentleman said, this is, is this your, your, your cutoff saw from here back? Uh, it's a little bit different. So it's not very, identical. Very so it's similar. Very, very similar. Okay. Minor tweaks to, to be for this tool. Um, so kind of the first thing we do uh, that sets us apart from all the other competitors is our clamp. So in the past, if you look at anybody else's clamp, it kind of screws in and then reverses all the way back out. Okay. Through our research, we learned nobody uses it because they're such a pain to use. Right. So we knew we had to come up with a unique solution to satisfy the user. So like a pair of channel locks, um, you have this clamp, it literally just goes into the tool, locks in place and you're done. It's pretty easy. It's really fast, it's really easy, and it has a really tight grip on the material. And to adjust it for the different sizes of pipe, you just have this little gauge 
here, and you just scroll it up or down, depending on the size of pipe that you're threading. Now, in addition to uh, the clamp, in the past, when you wanted to thread a piece of pipe, you had to push your hand up against this cutting die to get the thread started. To get it started, yeah. Exactly. So we don't want your hands anywhere near the cutting dies. So we have this die arm that slides over and fits over top. That's different. I can push on it, get my thread started, then it flips up and locks in the, out, of, out of my way. And I can continue to thread. In the past, if you're using like a rigid th or 700 machine, there's these tools produce so much torque, it'll throw a person. So what they would do is have one guy with a piece of pipe in the handle, in the back here for leverage, right. and a second person in the front oiling the, uh, oiling the cutting dies. This tool, because of this clamp, it transfers all that torque from the user onto the material. So I can sit here and all I need is one finger to pull the trigger and then a second hand to oil. So I can, it took what was two people down to one person, which is a huge increase in productivity, right? It saves a lot of time, a lot of time saves a lot of money. There's going to be situations where you can't use the clamp though. So let's say I'm doing service work, I'm in a tight spot. Yeah, I was going to say in situ, you can't fit the thing. Yep. yep. So we also included an electronic clutch on the tool. So if it does start to move on you, the clutch shuts the tool down and stops operating. So it's a second level of protection that we built into this unit. So I can start my thread. We got a couple threads there. And I can just take my oil. I might have missed it. Is this is this a single speed threader? It is a single speed threader. Okay. So in forward, it's about 30 RPMs, and in reverse, it's 60 RPMs, so I can just remove it all for the product faster. Okay. You notice it's going faster? Yes. I like the flexibility of being able to, for, for some of you that already have rigid dies, they will work with this tool. Yeah, yeah. Or you have the ability to buy new the wall dies made by the wall correct pretty cool our dies come with the high speed steel cutters uh that gives you extra life awesome they come stock in our dies and again you're right our tools work with a standard 12 r style die so if you already own a bunch of dies uh, you don't have to use ours you can use what you already own today the other thing when you talk about doing these really high torque applications with cordless tools yes is if you wanted to do something on like an 18 or a 20 volt platform those tools are going to have to work a lot harder to do the same type of application, especially these high draw applications. The benefit of 60 volts is it gives you three times the power. So you don't have to work nearly as hard to do the same application because you have a lot of power. And so the benefit of that is going to be much more efficient and it's also going to, the tool is going to last you a lot longer because you're not pushing it as hard for as long periods of time. So the tool doesn't get as hot, right, because it's not working as hard. So heat is a loss of energy, right? And so the tool is much more efficient and it's going to last a lot longer. So the wall feels the higher voltages are a more efficient way of delivering that power. That especially, yes, especially okay. in, in high draw or high torque applications, that higher voltage um, allows you access to more power. It's no different if we have a giant boulder and you're pushing it by yourself, right? You can push it, but you're going to be exhausted very, very quickly. Right. Versus you have three people, you go from a 20 volt to a 60 volt, you have three people pushing that boulder, it's going to be a lot easier, and you're, sure. you're going to be able to push it a lot further because it's not as difficult for you to do. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people that will come to the channel will ask, and we talk about the higher voltages. For you that are in an HVAC, the reality is, is that you, you have three phase equipment, runs at higher voltages. Is it not more efficient? Does it not run cooler? Do, does those higher voltages and running cooler and all draw less power over time? Does it not make for a longer operating tool? It does. It's proven to. And how do they rate the amp hours on those higher voltage batteries? Because it would take more of a battery to get the same amp hours, although you're drawing less amps. Yep, so that's, that's a great question. So this flex volt battery, right? It works in 20 volts and it works in 60 volts. Yep. So when you're in 20 volts, it's a giant gas tank. Yeah, nine amp hours. It's nine amp hours at 20. 20. 
So and instead of 60 volts, it's three? It's or, three. Yeah, exactly. yeah, right, yeah. okay, yeah. But the, but the watt hours of that pack remain constant. Yep. Yeah. It's the, it's the pressure in that the, the, those amp hours are delivered. So it's the same power out of the pack. People will say this all the time. Oh, it's not really a nine amp hour cell or a pack. It, 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 but you're get those watt hours yeah, yeah. that comprise the pack are constant. Right. And so it's how, fit, yeah. how, much, how many of those watt hours you can access at one point. Right. And so you can access a lot more of them at 60 volts to get a lot more power early on. And I mean, and right. How many, the, I mean, from a practical point of view, how, how, uh, like two inch, that's a two inch thread. How many two inch threads do you think you get out of a pack, give so or that's take? That's what we're showing right here. We did all of these 52 pieces with two nine amp hour packs. Is that 52, so 25, 25, I mean 25 two inch packs, uh, threads out of a thing. If you ain't got your next pack charged by then, you know, you got you, And if you want more runtime, you can step up to a 12 amp hour pack. We recommend that you use the, the oil resistant packs. And they're only available in nine amp hour? Correct. Okay. That ships with this tool. Right. But I mean, uh, essentially, yes. Yep. If you want an easy way to communicate the different voltages and amp hours, is I associate it to a car, right? You have 20 volts of a four cylinder, and 60 volts of a 12 cylinder, right? And the gas tank doesn't change the size, right? Which is your amp hours. So if I'm running at a 12 cylinder engine, I got a lot more power. I'm going to burn that gas up faster, right? Versus a much more efficient four cylinder engine. Right? Pretty easy way. To you're you're you're, get, you're getting to your destination. Yep. A different rate of speed, but the end result is you ended up in Nashville. And the, the, well, the problem too is it's more of that access to power. So it's like, hey, you got to pull this really heavy boat, right? I could do it with a four cylinder engine, yeah. but it's going to get there very slow and it's going to be worked way, way hard. So that, that truck's probably going to break down fast. Sure. Versus if you have a, you know, a three quarter ton truck who can pull that same boat, it's going to be much more efficient. So it's not going to burn as much gas to do it. Um, and it's not going to put that much strain on that vehicle, so it's going to that vehicle's going to lash a lot. Awesome! I appreciate that. I appreciate that explanation. Can I ask you one question? Yeah. Price point. I'm sorry. Price, oh, price point. point. So we'll have two different options as we're selling it. It'll be the tool, two batteries, the fast charger, and the clamp for right around $1,800 retail. And then the other option would be the tool, two batteries, the fast charger, the clamp, and a set of half inch through two inch uh, cutting dies for around $2,400. Wow, okay, not bad at all. So 600 for the dies. Listen, Todd, we appreciate you. I'm sure you have oil Very on your oil, hand. Yes. We appreciate Todd walking us through the new Flexball Threader. And if you appreciate it, then tap the like button. Because unlike the Pipe Threader, the likes are free. Don't be stingy. We're a big fan of, of, the, of the initial version. I'm telling you. It sounds like a huge improvement. It is. Tell me, tell me a little bit more. I have a question. So we're, we're charging 12 volt and 20 volt. And flex volt. And the flex, but you asked for it, the wall did it. Yep. 55 watt RMS amplifier with four speakers and two subwoofers. Wow. Give you a clear and great sound, 360 sound, okay? We have IP54 dust and water resistant. Charger, we said, we have a USB for fast charging here. That's awesome. And aux input. Oh, so my question is, so this is USB 3.0? Yeah. Wow, all right. I'm liking what I'm saying. We have a new screen, a touch screen, okay? Okay. We have, show you some cool stuff. We have the DRC. DRC. Dynamic range control. This is for outdoor or indoor use. You can set the sound as you want. Okay? It's also a flip screen. When you put it this way, the screen flips. Oh, that's awesome. The Bluetooth works for 100 feet. That's good. Yeah. 100 foot. Compatible with 1.0 and 2.0. I can tell you. Yo, it clicks on so easy. It's like that. It's like that scene when it when it hits your lips. It tastes so good. Look at it. Watch. You ready? That's it. You want to take it off? Boom. They open up. Pulls off. That's pretty cool. What's going on with the boxes? Okay. So 
We did a lot of new stuff, new features in the 2.0, but I will walk you through the main ones because we have a lot. Wait a minute, Dan, are we supposed to be showing showing this? This says prototype. Are we allowed, yes. we're allowed to show this? Yeah, you were able to show it. Okay. Us. We're going to launch this spring 2020. Okay. Okay? So we have the rolling unit, the, the large toolbox, and the small toolbox. Okay. What we did here, one, all the boxes 20% larger than the 1.0. More tool space, better use for volume. Okay? We upgraded all our latching system, starting with the front latches. Plastic metal wire, very easy to operate, very durable. The next thing is the new patented auto stack latches. How you operate them? You press them, you don't need to touch them anymore, they stay pressed. You lift it. Let's say you have a one tool in your hand, you can use it with one hand, lock it, you're good to go. Everything is locked. That's awesome. Third thing. This is just the third thing? That's the fourth, but I will... Uh, this is the fourth? That's the fourth. Okay. All backwards compatible with 1.0. That's awesome. So you ask about this one. Can you guess what this is for? Uh, so we have a new platform in the 2.0. Idan saw the, the blank look on my face, so he was like... I better just show this guy. Do, yeah. I appreciate it. This is the half size. Oh, that's cool. The half size organizer. Wow, that's cool. So what do we do? We just pop it in? Yeah, pop it in. Well, and press. Boom, done. If you want to take it out, you just press, press. Good to go. Look at these. That's a good question. So. Vince, we know everything today is about organization and customization. It's the truth. So I'll show you what, what we're bringing here. Oh, this is for the interior? Wow! Tray kit, kids, the 2.0, you can lift everything. So let me ask you a question. So I, I lift this out, yeah. and then it comes apart. Then you can, I'll show you. You can put everything apart. This is a stack tower for the inside. Okay. You can create your own set of tools, okay? So this is your drill, your drill set. And this is your Mac tool set. Nice. And this is your hand tool set. And all goes inside and everything is durable, is uh, modular. So on this extra large, you can put and fit two deeps or four shallows. Because nobody likes the tools exactly. rolling around in the box. Exactly. And we have another cool option in this tray. Let's say in one box, you want only one tray. You don't want all the tray. So okay. we can flip those latches, put it on the ribs here on the top. It stays on the top, and you uh -huh. have the bottom for storage. That's nice too. Close it, everything works. That's so solid, man. That is nice. So you could put, you could, you know, you could organize a, yes. a box, a kit. You put your larger, your larger power tools underneath if you want them rattling around in there, whatever it is you want it in there. Or bricks, I don't know, you can put bricks in there. And boom, you have your, your tools up here. Pretty cool, I dig that, Edan. Yep. What else we got, anything? I have small crazy stuff we did here. Small crazy stuff? Are bigger than the 1.0, eight inch instead of seven inch. This is very important because you know we do we do commercial retail work. Okay. When we roll into the malls, it, they have to be rubber non-marring. Okay. That's is that what we have? That's what that's what we got here. Beautiful. And if you want to fit the 450, the rolling unit to pick up truck, then you can take out the handle, store it aside, and it fits the pickup truck. Nice. We had that request from the field all the time. So. And all of these boxes are, they're backwards compatible with the racking systems. Exactly. Also. Workshop, racking system, everything. Oh, tea stack. Oh man, that's like a whole nother video. It is. So, do we cover it all? And if you like getting it all covered, all the information about the new Tough System 2.0, smash the like button. It's free for you to do and it helps out the channel. Please. I want to say a special thank you to Dan. Yo, you did an awesome, awesome job. Thank you for your time. I got to tell you, that part's my favorite. Let us know down in the comment section below what's your favorite part of the new 2.0 Tough System.
Uh, this is almost our 20th anniversary for the Dershman. Uh, so we have completely uh, changed our two inch attachments. Now there's no need for an adapter to put on the front. Right? So we can connect to DeWalt, Nikita, or Simco. Uh, all you do is we'll take these off now, you're supposed to pull it off. So, so, really so I have a question. Yeah. The, the, these are specific to yes. Makita. So we need the order product number DS230M1 Correct. for Makita. Correct. Screw gun. Yep. Okay, perfect. Yep. So we have one for each. Uh, this one specifically fits the DeWalt. Gotcha. This one uh, specifically fits the corded and cordless Makita. Poor Ryan, I cut them off before yeah. we had a chance. Oh, you're good. Sorry, buddy. You're good. No, I love, I love it being hey, interactive. You're good. So, uh, I brought my guys over this time. But yeah, so this guy here, easy to index. So if you go close to the ground, oh, that's or awesome. So very easy to move that, manipulate that around. We have our uh, corner fit technology, which is patented uh, with Simco. It basically means when you're going in the corners, the bit actually comes out way past the end of the nose piece. That's nice. So you can get in the corners a lot easier. Uh, something that Simco only has. Uh, and also with this new nose piece, better line of sight as well as toenailing. So you can really grip it uh, to get into more crating applications or decking. I will say this, you know what's great about that is that when you have to when you have to do your corner seams, yes. getting in tight, you it always tight. have to adjust the nose, you have to adjust the nose yep. cone just to get it deep enough and run and run that seam. Yep. This looks like I might not have to do so much adjustment. Right. Yeah, if you want to give it a shot. It's I'll okay, I'm good. It. I'm gonna let you do, do all, all right. the shooting. So, similar to all these, uh, these are feet on return now, meaning that screw is in place. So there is no more as you push in, the screw comes up. Now the screw is ready to go. Cool. Uh, so oh, nice. Now, now, where's the? Oh, sorry. Oh, you're I, have, good. I have to play with. Now, I love questions. So I, I would really, it makes it. My Makes it less nerve wracking too, right? My depth adjustment is, is where? Here? Yep. So all you do is push this button in. Okay, this button in. And then you rotate that guy. Okay, so. so you rotate it this way. Deeper and, Deep. and. So this is deeper, that's uh, more up. And then we're ready to go. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then. You would always be in like this area, right? In the corner, you, you would never, it just, you always, if, when you have a, a non collated attachment, you always have to adjust that nose cone to get that, that screw fully sunk. You have to adjust that nose cone. But even if, it doesn't look like we'd have that issue here, but even if, it's, it's so much easier to adjust, in my opinion. Cool. Thank you. So that is our uh, two-inch attachment. Like I said, Makita, Senko, or DeWalt. No yeah. Milwaukee, though, right? No Milwaukee. Right. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on this side, we now have our, our latest integrated tools. So Senko, we were the first ones to come out with that integrated tool back about 20 years ago. Uh, so we completely updated this. Um, we started off as calling this a quote-unquote 2.5 version, well, it turned into more of a 3.0, okay. all the features we added. Same uh, same stuff as this, so our corner fit technology, um, easy uh, adjustable front end, so if you got to adjust whatever size your uh, length of your screw is. And this is specific for self-tapping? Self so this one here, we have three different versions. We have our low speed 2 inch, our low speed 3 inch, so this you can do up to a 3 inch screw. Okay. And then our high speed uh, two inch. So <clears throat> this would be drywall applications. Pretty much. This is wood applications. Pretty much. And this is metal applications. Right. These are all specific tools for those for each. right. Gotcha. So, so now you could use this for drywall, right? But typically drywallers want to go as fast as they can. Right? Sure. So this five thousand RPM fits that bill. Sure. Uh, so we kind of made it specific to those. Uh, so things. it could be used, but it's not its, it's intended. Use. Right. Right. So what we've done with these, we've also added a button. Uh, on the low speed tools to drop it down to 1600 RPMs. Okay. So right there is 2500. Push the button in. Now it's down to 1600. That's really beneficial when you get to that heavy, heavy steel. Uh, so you don't burn the tips up of the bit. Sure. Are, we talking, are we talking 20? Uh, this 18? is pretty light. Uh, this is pretty light here, but uh, 
when you get into more of that 12, that 14, oh, yeah. the real thick stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll see guys doing a lot of feathering, right? Dropping it down to 16. <laughs> no need to feather anymore. No need to feather. Yeah. You're, already, you're already up and down. So, let me go ahead and show this here. So, okay. so there you can see the fin stop. So it, it reached that depth. Okay. So the pit stop. And you got that nice, nice, uh, tight. Uh, yeah. I and mean, this is high speed or, or six speed? So that's right now, that's at 2,500. And then we're on low speed now? Yep. Yep. And it literally stops perfect depth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're so not gonna overdrive. We're not gonna we're not gonna blow out that hole. Right. And that's the benefit of a, a depth clutch, right? So you you have uh, steel is very different, right? So you got your uh, some steel is a lot more dense in certain spots, even if it's on that same sheet. So having a depth clutch means you're gonna get that same drive every time, the same depth every time. I gotta tell you, that's pretty amazing. What, what's the cost on this unit? So these range here, uh, about 350 to 370. And that so comes these with two batteries. Come with two batteries. Two three amp hour batteries and a new turn. And they're 350. And this is the deal. For a tool <clears throat> like this, this is this is for highly specialized work, in my opinion. You're going to be doing this all day, every day. This isn't a multi-use tool, okay? but it's, it's an investment, three hundred and fifty dollars. That's going to make that person that's doing that task all day long mm -hmm. much more efficient. They're going to they're going to they're going to go through less fasteners. <clears throat> they're going to blow out less holes. They're going to get more work done in less time. That means they make more money. Awesome. Exactly. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Yeah, so uh, one of the other big benefits we had was uh, reverse. Reverse, yeah. right? So now uh, with our new tools, you're able to do that. We, we uh, made the triggers better, uh, so it allows reversing a lot easier, back and forth. But now we got the lock unlock, pop boom. it off, boom. Cool. So you could, you could take something out real easy, don't have to go to your belt to get another screw gun. Uh, it's all right there. Um, who, who um, let me ask you a question. Yeah. So these batteries and chargers, yeah, are, are they? They are the latest cell technology, uh, and we have the uh, with the five amp hour charger, twenty one seven hundreds, I would think, yes. with them. Yep. So they are uh, uh, the the latest charger is also a five amp hour uh, charger, or five amp charger. So we go about uh, zero to fifty percent in fifteen minutes. Uh, full charge, we start uh, tapering off the charge uh, after that okay. to prolong the life of the battery. Full charge takes about an hour. Okay. So, uh, like I said, they ship with two two batteries. By the time this guy runs out, the other one will be fully charged. Uh, we got to swap back and forth. So, real quick, here's the uh, 5,000 RPM tool. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really awesome. It's really awesome. Yeah, you know, it's pretty funny. So, we, every week we do what's called a tool test roll on yeah. our channel. And <clears throat> people people ask, man, you're pretty fast at, at putting the screws down. Right. Because we have, a, and they're like, you know, ha, you know, do you practice and all? No, we were broke. So, we never had the money for collated attachments and all. We had to feed them by hand. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. So, that's Flipping. how you learn how to be fast. Right. But I gotta tell you, you're saying like only 350 bucks. You're gonna be sit if you're setting drywall or you pretty much at, at this cost with this speed, you really can't afford not to be. You, you can't afford not to be using this tool. Yeah, and like you mentioned earlier too, the, uh, the no more drop screws. You're not missing half the screws that are on the floor, and then you gotta go back and sweep it up. Yeah. So that's awesome, Ryan. I hey, appreciate pleasure. your time. Thank you so much. Listen, if you like not wasting screws and dropping them and wasting money because pennies add up to dollars and smash the like button also you're going to want to get subscribed and tap the bell it's it's it, you cannot it, smooth. it is smooth you can't force the tool it does the work yeah like I'm, I'm leaning into it right right because that's what i'm used to doing but i'm leaning you can't you can't overdrive it. Like you're not gonna force the tool to go any faster yeah. than it's right. supposed to. Yep. It's doing the work for you.
I love the fact that you can just take the cone off and reverse it. I mean, instead of having to undo literally, it. Literally, right? I, I could stand here and exert the all extra kind of pressure on this thing. It, it's a waste of energy. It literally does the job. The tool is doing the job for me. So I can uh, push, and, but the tool is doing the work. That's the way it should be. That's pretty awesome. I know the um, skills reputation in this in the past has happened there, but this is a whole new level, a whole new world of skill, right? Compact brushless motors, um, priced very aggressively, $79 for that one battery. So th this comes, this is a drill driver. Yep. Okay. Drill it driver. comes with a single two amp hour battery. One single two amp hour battery. And that charger. Yes. How fast will that charger charge this two amp hour battery, do you know? Minutes. 30 minutes? And it does 25% in five minutes. So if you're dead and you need to get going, you can hit this button, it'll get you charged 0 to 25 in 5 minutes. I will say this, the switch gear has a nice feel to it. I guess this is more of your compact line. Yep. Does, does, this compact and here's the you know, impact oh. driver for at least the 20 volt. Yo, is this 12? This is 12. Wow. So do you have a hammer version? We're making one, it's not out yet. Okay. You say the only, the only a lot of feedback that I get is the plastic chucks. Mm -hmm. People people like to see a metal chuck. Yep, absolutely. You know, not that it's not a metal chuck in here, yeah, but the, the you know, especially on a hammer. Yep. You know, for a drill driver, me personally, I don't mind I don't mind plastic. You know, it keeps weight down. Yep. And it's it's less mooring. Like uh, you, you feel like a compact drill driver yeah. is more for cabinetry and installation work. Yep, exactly. This isn't going to mar like a metal chuck. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Maybe less. And I'd say your mileage may vary. You might get a, you know, might mar your work. Don't be holding me accountable. But go ahead and try it. You can drill right into that. Really? Yeah, we got a board in here. Or you can go to the demonstration up there. I'd go down there. If you're... So this is 7 8 self feeding spaddle bit because you might call it paddle and I might call it spade. Okay? This is one of our, this is one of our favorite tests. What's your try in the four by? Don't make it easy. There, there you go. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if we let, one, see if we could stall it here. We are in speed one. We're on drill. I'm gonna tell you. Right through. I will tell you this much. That's the thing. Very surprising for 12, for 12 volts. Like, I, I, I didn't think. Out of power? Yeah, what the heck? You got a driver bit? Oh, um, we do. I mean, it, it'll work. Or you can use the impact. Now, that's a little different test, but go for it. Let's see what it'll do. Let's do a test. We're going to keep it. Now, we have, this is a truss head, right? It's a lag. Quarter inch. What is this, uh, six? Uh, no, uh, this is a five. Let's see what it does. We're on speed one. You ready? It's a lot of power for 12 volts. Nice compact. I will say this. I think uh, I'm not seeing one unless there's a bit kit here. We don't have an adapter to throw this on there. Oh, impact, so we have full line. This is not everything. This is just a couple demo tools. We'll go over there, I'll show you everything we got. What I'm saying, well, I was gonna throw in an adapter to, to run maybe this lag with this, but oh. we could we could try, listen, I wanna try. Is this, so this, is, our this, this is a 20 so volt? full size compact series. Should we look over everything while we're here or should we keep it, keep it separate? Let us know down in the comment section. What do you think, Nick? I like the hog ring on this. I will say, one thing that's really, really fun about impacts is that when it comes to driving lags, a lot of, like, it makes it effortless. It literally does. I will say this as well. We're going we're gonna to see about drilling a hole with this. People ask, are, are you supposed to drill, are you supposed to drill holes with an impact? Well, companies are making impact rated drill bits. Yeah, you use them to drill. The thing is, is that where you might have to lock down with a drill driver, you might need a hand, auxiliary handle. Impact drivers, because of the way they operate, make it almost effortless. So 
That's out. That's in. So there, this is a two-speed impact. Pretty cool. Low, high. We did drive that on on. We drove that on high. Look at that LED. The LED is awesome. Look at that. Illuminates all your work area. Now, you want to try this? Yeah. All right. So we're doing it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we could do. I will say this: this seven eighths inch drill bit is literally two eighths larger than the drill bit that killed a contractor grade impact driver on our tool test roll. If you want to see that video, you can go right here. Let's test this out. We'll see how we do. This is big, a bigger, uh, and you have to remember, this is 12 volts. That was a 20 volt tool. Let's see how this does. Is this uncharted territory? Has anybody have done this yet here? We've not seen it. Let's see it. You've seen it here first, people. Like butter, like butter. This is a 12 volt tool. <gasps> no! No, I'm good. I, I, I'm good. Is it quick and sir collet? Let's see. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. 12 volt tool through like four inches of wood. It wasn't a blind hole. We did make it through the other end, but yo, look at the mess on the floor. <laughs> it's awesome. It made fast work of it too. I gotta tell you, I haven't. I really didn't. This is the first time I'm looking at the skill line. And I'm impressed so far. Absolutely, right angle impact. So this is a right angle impact, and this is a 12 volt. All 12 volt here. Yeah. Right angle oscillating or oscillating tool as well. We have a full range. To show you everything. Right so here. this is the funny part, right? You handed me the right angle impact, but it's you didn't like hand me. I was expecting to see like a smaller fastener. I, I'll assume that you want me to do the, these quarter inch. Wow. Okay. Here, we got a new one to come up. Okay, so we just backed out the quarter inch fastener that we drove a second ago. I will say this. I, I'm like a little apprehensive. We, we're we're in the knot area. You know, where you see a knot is where you not should drill a fastener into, right? But we're gonna do it anyway, okay? We're through. That's pretty awesome. Look at that light too. I know. I mean, That's a good, and this thing is, is that when it comes to 12 volt tools, me personally, number one, I, I prefer 12 volt on a daily basis. For the work that I do, I go 12 volt. First, first tools out of the truck. And because we do a lot of tech and installation work, the lights are really handy. What else you got for us? This steps over to our 20 volt brushless lineup. So we got a couple tools here if you want to play around with it as well. The impact. Of course we do want to play so around. Of course, if 12 can do it, 20 is going to do it even faster and better. So I know. Take a look. What do we, so I will say this. The battery is like really, really light. Yeah, absolutely. So this is not a quick insert collet. Two speeds, right? We got a low and a high here as well. What's that? Is this a third mode? Yeah, and the third mode. So it's kind is of that a, a tightening? Up, it's a ramp up speed. So if you're it senses speed, what you need. Exactly. Cool. Let's just try it in, in low. Just, just, just why not? Oh, sorry. Okay, so it would be 
obviously for smaller fasteners or a precision drive mode, right? You, you don't need all that power. Yeah, so performance of these tools, I think speaks for themselves. I agree. Super excited about is like the, the battery and the charger. So all these batteries on our brushless lineup not only come with USBs built right in. Wow! So you don't need an adapter? No adapter needed, unless you get to the really large uh, four or five amp hour batteries. Okay. All the two amp hour batteries for sure. They all have what we call our power jump charger. So again, that, if this thing's dead, it'll get 25% just five minutes. Same goes for the 20 volt lineup. So you know, the charger is built to be a fast charger, 30 minutes, but 25 in the first five. And uh, the USB is built in, plus all the, the battery technology that makes these things run like they do. So we're super excited, both 12 volt, 20 volt lineup, complete line. We'll show you the whole family right over there. I have a question for you. We're gonna go over there in one sec. I know I'm probably doing more no. than I should here, but so are you, have you been pre-drilling holes when you drive these legs? No. Or are you going straight in? Go right in. Re go straight in, okay, all right. No smoke show here. These three eights, right? Yes. Well, let's go look at the whole line. If you did want to use one of the larger batteries, like a five amp, so you would need this USB adapter. Pretty cool. We have to get that flex vacuum over here, huh? Wow. Comprehensive range, 20 volt. Stack right next to our 12 volt as well. So drill, impact, impact wrench. Start to see hammer drills, jigsaw, circ saw, sanders, grinders, comprehensive lineup. I didn't realize. So let me ask you this question. Uh, are, are you, do you have a plan for a router? Uh, we're working on it. Drywall, I, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> we're working on it. So a drywall gun maybe. Okay. So we're looking, it, we're, I mean, we're looking application by application. We're going to get the core launched, which is what you see here. Yes. We got a couple side items as well. I like the, the inflator. And lights and other things that really help make you know, the battery more useful. I will say this, when it, comes to, when it comes to remodelers especially, this is an invaluable tool. Unbelievable. The oscillating tool, I think it does so much, but it's good to see that you have one here. And not only that, this one, if we want to go back and demo, of course we do. <laughs> After you. The vibration reduction on this thing is absolutely amazing. So my question, oh, so we unlock here? Yep. Okay, so boom, we're unlocked. If we have an open back bit or blade, we could slide it right on, lock it down, okay? Now, if you have a closed back, you open it up, and then you should be able to yep. back that off like that. Look at that. It, they threw me off. So it's not screw, it's just a quarter turn. Boom. Yo, you have your own oscillating blades. We're working on launching very shortly. So these aren't available yet, but they're going to be available. I'm, I, listen, this is, uh, so we've done a comprehensive, we've done some comprehensive testing of recip saw blades, as well as circular saw blades. I mean, we've done testing with all kinds of blades, but we don't know what exactly, what, what the secret sauce is on your, your recip saw blades. I, I, it's not skill, but the skill saw brand of blades. Sure. Would you not agree? Is it like our favorite? Oh yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Swiss made. Swiss made. Swish. All righty. There we go. Boom. I'm getting a little old, people. Sorry. So all we do is pop it on. Okay. Close it down, and then we're ready. Good part is, is that you could open it up. You could orient your blade any way you want, pretty much. Good part is, is that it's 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 fairly rapid too. Right, okay. Make sure you turn up the dial variable speed on the side. 
What do you want me to cut? Uh, Anything? Cut a notch out. Cut a notch out. You ready? Is that a wood cutting blade? Is that a metal cutting blade? Why? To cut what metal? We could cut through a lag. That'd be a little ludicrous, but we could do it. You ready? I, I will say, unreal. I'm really, really pushing. And it's it's not bogging at all. Little li little too much. <laughs> Fire moss is gonna come in. I will say, that's pretty awesome. I will say that the blade was pretty, pretty impressive as well. I mean, we saw a little bit of smoke in here, but you're not, you're not, I'm not seeing much discoloration from the heat cycle on the blade, right? Is that like, is that like the, the, the Tifus is look awesome, okay? But it's like heat cycle. Would that be the, the, the proper tech, you know, terminology? I don't know, but it sounds good. So. Pretty impressive. I, I, I'm really impressed. Do you do you have a metal cutting blade? No, thank you. I'm sorry. Yo, this blade does say wood, plastic, and metal. So, so if this design. Yes. So we completely separated. See this head. I uh, I could. Back and forth. So when you hold it on here, the vibration don't transfer through. It is not. This is one of the lowest vibration tools you can hold, even though it's all about the vibration of the tip. This is, this is the deal. I, I don't want to sound like too fantastical because the viewers aren't going to believe it when I, when I tell them. And, and we are, this is pine, okay? This is, this is, this is pine or whatever. This is, this is a soft wood, right? The, the cut was, was effortless, okay, effortless. The vibration was non-existent. And I don't want to sound too fantastical. I haven't really experienced such little vibration and ease of cut in anything but the fest tool and, and I'm just being I'm being real with you but the vibration is non-existent so you can believe it if you want we literally I literally had my hands on it a few weeks ago maybe a month ago and I'm sure they're on different ends of the price spectrum but this tool because I know how relatively inexpensive it is, and cordless, the Festool was not, have both thoroughly impressed me. This is really impressive. People believe it when they get their hands on it, and that's the difference. You may have believed it out of me, I'm impressed. I gotta tell you, my older 18 volt tools, my older 18 volt tools will not perform, and they were way heavier, will not perform at the level of this 12 volt. Yeah, I wanna drive that one more time. Boom. Crossline lasers. These will balance themselves, included with a clamp so that you can mount them wherever you need it. US, uh, micro USB charging if you need to lock them in place and you want to do fixed. Um, so they're self, self leveling and then you can lock them in place. Yeah, so you got a little of both. Cool. So we'll go back to this mode. The little cousin over here is the green uh, line version, but in addition to that, you get what we call our projected marks. So if you are perpendicular to a wall, each of the spaces, yes. the various lines, I'm kind of blocking it here, will be equidistant. So you can actually line that up then for layout work if you need to. You can back it up from the wall and you can get 16s if you want, or if you want to hang frames or pictures or anything else and you need equidistance, you can utilize that um, built right into the laser lines. That's Pretty awesome. Sweet. The green line's fantastic for seeing in brighter conditions. It's a little easier to read. 
and the accuracy of these things are great. They're 3 16ths at 30 feet. So we're seeing you know, wow. really, really amazing accuracy here. Let me ask you a question. What's, what's, what's the price point on, on one of these? So we're, Is there a price difference between red and green? Absolutely. So you pay a little bit of premium for the green. 20, 30 bucks, depending on the retailer. But you know, we're looking at about seventy-nine dollars for these. Okay. Plus or minus, depending on, on where you're getting it, and about uh, fifty-nine for the uh, the red crossline laser. Now, why are we flashing? Because we're out we're out of plumb. Are we out of out of level? We're slightly out of balance, so it's giving you a little indication. In the back, and now we're we're back to level. So when you're in the lock mode, it won't do that. But of course, when you go into the um, you know self-leveling mode, if you're out, it's going to give you that indication so that you don't do anything incorrectly. Perfect. In addition to that, there's this guy up here, which is a 360 and a line laser. So when we put this guy on, you get the whole room. This is plus nice. Vertical. What's the distance? Uh, 30 feet as well. So we'll do up to 30 feet. Yep. So and this is, a, is this available in green? We do not yet, but it's uh, on the roadmap. So right now we're, we're, we're featuring the red one, uh, retail 109. Awesome. Yeah. This is 109? Yep, 109 with a tripod. Oh my lord. So the, again. Unbelievably so. affordable. What's up with the levels? Two levels, both 24 and, 40 and uh, 12 inch. So it has the bubble built right in. So if you want to go, you know, old school, you can. Yes. Or if you want to do. So your, these are these are also fully electronic. Uh, yep. So this one is the only one that uh, utilizes the battery, but the other ones are all micro USB. Oh man. It's as simple as laying a level. Yo, it's dead on too. Who put this booth together? <laughs> I want to shake. I want to shake their hand. They know what they're doing. And then if you're off, of course, it gives you indications of the direction you need to get to get to level. Awesome. So a little bit of an aid there as well. See, pull the vertical. Built-in magnets on the side. So if you have um, how strong are those magnets? Metal surface. Yo. And we're only we're only contacting a single. Okay. Yeah, so steel studs or anything else, you're going to be in good shape. That is nice. And then we also have a distance measure, which you don't see here, um, but a uh, 100 foot distance measure as well, very competitively priced, 39 dollars I have a question. You have torpedoes or no? No. So, so just, just these two sizes? Just these two as well, for right now. What's the price point on these? Did you say? I'm sorry, I missed it. 59 and 79 I believe. That's awesome. So again, we're trying to be really competitively priced in all the lasers and levels. Thank you for, for, for showing these offerings off. I gotta tell you, I wasn't even aware, but now I am, thanks to Craig. And if you like to be informed just as much as I do, and smash the like button, get subscribed and tap the bell because I don't know how many more videos we're gonna get to do with Craig here at Stafta in the Shervon booth, but when we release another one, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So we're with Ben, and although this power station might not be able to start your worm drive table saw, what can it power? Tell us a little Pretty bit about this thing. Anything, if you're a contractor, anything below a table saw. So this is 3,000 watt peak, 2,000 continuous. So it'll start almost every miter saw. It's going to start your worm drive circ saw. Um, it will start your worm drive yes, miter saw. Yep. So actually, on that saw, if you have two 7.5s on this unit, it's gonna get about 1,500 cuts on a two by four. Wow. Um, and then obviously if you have four 7.5s, you're gonna double that cut. Um, so it's kind of designed for a contractor on the job site, camping, tailgating, um, hunting, and also power outages. The sine wave of this? Pure sine. So it's a pure sine wave. That's Wait. one of the big no. questions. I have, a, I have a question. Yes, sir. We have this. I went through the literature. It says that if you're charging two batteries on this power station, the charging is simultaneous. That's correct. I have not experienced that. It's, it's sequential. Sorry, not simultaneous. It's sequential. So it'll charge one battery at a time. With two? With yeah. With so then, four, so so three, then, yeah. when you put on four, it, it, it's it's, st it's still sequential. So one battery is charging time. So it'll take the lowest voltage battery. Yeah, it brings it up to and the. And it'll teeter totter up. Yep. So they'll they'll all be pretty much equal. Correct. So that when if you were to go to power something, they will discharge equally. Correct. I got you. Yeah. 
I, I could swear, you know, and my reading, my reading's not that good, but I could swear it said if you were charging two only two batteries, it said simultaneous okay. in the literature. Am I wrong? I actually don't know. Is your reading not that good either, huh? It's not that good. All right, all right. Okay. I mean, it's an awesome solution. This is the thing. We, we made a point on our unboxing video to talk about how <clears throat> with the upcoming, upcoming solar solution, this would even be better yep. than a traditional gas operated. So in your power outage, you will always have power. Um, so we will make a charger that's compatible with all solar panels. We're not launching a solar panel. We're launching oh. a charger that will be compatible with all solar panels on the market. Um, it'll look very similar to this. So your solar panel would charge, or excuse me, plug into this, and then this would just plug into the unit. So let me ask you this question. I, I, I know for busy people, contractors, we want solutions. And sometimes we'll even pay a little bit more, just so it's all right. Will you have an endorsed solar panel package from a company like if you're not going to do the solar panels yourself will you say hey this kit works with ego power station i think that would be awesome you want to know why because it's not that i can't think because i can think sometimes i don't have the time sure i just want somebody to tell me yeah this one works hey ben th which one works with mine yeah what do you think i, I think it's great yeah, yeah just recommend it you heard it here first all right cool is there anything we're missing about this? Uh, we do have an app that's actually tied to this product. Um, so you can connect to the app via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Um, so you can actually turn on and off individual AC outlets and turn on your USBs. Um, you can also do firmware, up firmware updates. So as we're making improvements to the software, just like an update on your phone, you can do that to this product. So, so for instance, in the future, if you did have a solar compatible, Charger, you might require a, a firmware update. Uh, but yes, there are going to be some instances out of the box, no, but as we make improvements. Okay. Yeah, Can you make a firmware improvement that would turn that sequential charging into simultaneous? No, that's, Come on! That's in the hardware. Come on, Ben! <laughs> Not the software. All right. Anything else you could tell us about it? Uh, sold with two, two 7.5s for 1197 and if you like getting a ton of bang for your buck. And margaritas. And the ability in a power outage to still make a margarita get tuned up and forget that the power's out, then smash the like button. You wanna know why? Cause it's free, that's why. It's not gonna cost you anything to tap the like button. Did you know that, Ben? It's not 11.97. It does not cost $1,100 to tap the like button. It's totally free. It's like, tapping, right. it's like tapping the off button on this Osterator or whatever it's called. <laughs> It's free. So do that now. We'll say thank you. Thanks, Vince. Ben. Yeah. For everything. And thank you for being here with us. We'll see you on the next one. I like that. Man. People are going to get excited about that solar. The solar thing is good. Yeah. This is the thing. You, you know, guys, oh, you know, I can just fill up my gas cans. Right. The gas, it runs out eventually. But the power of the sun never does. Is inextinguishable. Wow. Listen, don't believe the propaganda. Nothing happened into the sun, okay? We're all fine. We're not doomed, okay? Come on, what's, what's, come on, Ben, you're a doom and gloomer, aren't you? So this is uh, just launched, actually. So this is a brand new Ego chainsaw. Um, right off the bat, one thing to notice is 18 inch bar and chain, Oregon bar and chain. Our previous model, the largest was 16, so we bumped up to 18. This has a 20 meters per second chain speed. So that is actually going to be the fastest chain speed of any cordless saw. Uh, it's equivalent to a 40 cc gas saw. Um, probably the coolest feature on this chainsaw is actually how you tension the chain. So when you make a lot of cuts, obviously you will get sag in your chain, just it heats up. Yes. It loosens. All you need to do, if you actually had a sag in your, or a drip in your chain, you would just back this up and then spin it forward. And there's actually a sprocket inside here that tensions this perfectly, and you can't over tighten it. Wow. Um, it's awesome. uh, another thing too, I need to grab a battery. We're Ego, we put a light on our chainsaw, of course. 
So it's the fall time. It's fall cleanup. It gets dark at 4.30 now. I hate it. But if I have a tree in my driveway when I come home, no need to fear. I have a light on my chainsaw. Or if I'm camping or uh, hunting, you're in you know, tree coverage. You can just you know, clean up, be able to see. I'm going to start it up. So you can see how fast it's going. Um, yeah. My question is, uh, bear tool? We do sell a bear tool. I don't know the price. Bear tool. We do sell a bear tool. With, with, what's the kit? Then? With the 5.0 battery. How much? The kit is 320. I'm a product guy. I don't know. Listen, the, the reason I, I'm asking is, you know, we're coming in that season, and yeah. I, I've personally been in, you know, I, I've, I've lived in places where there's a lot of tree cover on the way home and all, and you got to throw a chainsaw in the trough because you don't know when there might be a tree down that will block the road. My question is, you don't have to worry about the gasoline, you don't have to worry about it leaking out of your gate. You know, you have a battery, you throw it on the tool, you start it up, it's ready to go. It's gonna start every time with a push of the button. And you don't have to worry about the cold start it. The carburetor being gummed up, you don't have to worry about the, the ethanol and the fuel. You don't have to worry about that. The brake on that's incredible too. Yeah, it's, it's it's very quick. Safe. First high voltage system in OPE that had enough power to really transfer gas to electric. So all the, the, the power performance that you would expect from your traditional gas mowers, blowers, everything, without the noise, fuss, and fumes. So super convenient, super powerful. You know, you really no sacrifices here, but using this, this one battery that can power an entire complete system of tools. It's amazing. Let me ask you a question. So I don't, how does that open anyway? Oops, sorry. So, the, so it, run, it runs on one battery. Single big battery. So we have three different styles. There's a uh, two and a half amp, five amp, and a seven and a half amp. It's amazing. The lights are amazing too. Look at that. I like the lights. You know why I like the lights, everybody? Because when the battery is fully charged, right? I hold it out in front of my chest and go, I am Iron Man. I love that part. <laughs> I love that part. I got nope, Where is that? Here? Yep. All right. Let's get serious. It's all right, Craig. Put it down. Put it down there. We're going to put our lights back on. Yeah, let's pull it out here. Are we going to mow the lawn? Extend this fully. You're good to go. Now you're ready. All you got to do. You hear that? Wow. That's as loud as it gets. Fully self propelled. So, fully self propelled for the shorter people of the world, like me. That is awesome. Let me ask you, so does it have different modes? Was it, or is it all bag collect? Does it have a mulch mode and all? Or? Absolutely. So it does have a mulch mode. So we're in mulch mode. What about like discharge? Can we just discharge? Or it would have to be mulch? We do have a rear discharge um, attachment. Yes. That fits into here. Okay. So a, a side discharge. Correct. Wow. And that was our mulch plug over there. Yeah, mulch plug too. So. Cool. One of the coolest things about this whole system. Yeah. How compact it folds all the way up. And it stores vertically. It doesn't matter. So no room in your garage. So when we can do this, yeah, there's no the gas, there's back. no oil. It's not dripping. You can't do this with a gas oil. So I, I, and this literally does everything a, ga a traditional gas-operated mower does. You can mulch, you can bag, you can side discharge, okay? You can store it upright, unlike a traditional mower. Saves more space. It runs on a battery. No fumes. Yo, this is, yo, this is um, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Unreal. One of the biggest pain points with string trimmers is they, they bend and break, right? Yeah. So, carbon fiber, uh, strength, that's never going to have an issue with that you, you imagine if I got your ankles? He almost, I was took, worried about he almost took his ankle for shoe. It's amazing. All right, so in addition to that... Craig said, yo, take it away from him, quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, power load string trimmer. So instead of having all the winding and other issues with getting the string fed through the system, if this were out, okay. you would feed it through, hold this button, and it automatically winds for you. Wait a minute, what? Say that again. <laughs> So instead of having Wait a minute. You're telling me, I wanna you're telling me that I ran out of string. Ran I ran out of line. line. All I gotta do is hold the line up here. So you take like a 12 foot spool. 
halfway through out each side. So you just feed it through. And then push this button and it'll wind itself. Eight seconds later, you're done. Yo, that is literally, I cannot stand having to wind the spool, feed it out and all that. The most annoying thing. It, it is. I'm like, I don't, I, you know what? I'm not even going to mow it along because I know my string trimmer's out of line. I'm not feeding it. That is amazing. Yeah, so industry first, Ego's brought many to market, and this is one of the latest, and we love it. Try to do that with your gasoline. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so super cool here. Here's your other standard string trimmers. Blowers. Hey, we're here. We're here. Come on, Craig, put it up to your chest and say you're Iron Man. <laughs> it's all you, man. It's all you. All right. Oh, this is the 530. Do we have a 560 here? 580. The 580. I knew that. Oh, this is the one with the. This. Yeah. It's enough to blow Nick's hair back. It's amazing. Yo, look at them over there with the power station. They're making more. It's margarita time. <laughs> margarita. Bro. We'll get over there. So blowers, trimmers, hedge trimmers, um, multi-head system, which is pretty amazing. We have over here as well. That's the reality. This is. This is. So my question is, this isn't is this contractor grade? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Do you so, not have a specific contractor line? So we do have a commercial series. As commercial well, series. Handheld product. So blower, string trimmer, hedge trimmer Maybe runs off a backpack battery. We can take a look at it. It's right over here. Okay, we're gonna go there. But my my whole point was is that with the power heads, like for for us, I'm a contractor. I buy high quality tools. Yes. Okay. But I'm not a landscaper. But I do do maintenance, do do. I do do maintenance, you know, at home, at my buildings. I, I don't necessarily need a designated pole pruner though. I like the ability to swap out to a pole pruner if I have to do some pruning. I like to be able to do some tilling in case the missus wants to plant some tomatoes. This is an awesome system and it's contractor grade. Pretty cool. Motor runs here and then it connects individually to all your attachments. So. Look at the sweeper. We could use that on the Camden waterfront. Could use that. Let's go take a look at the backpack system. Look at the hot, look at that the, the 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 lights on this thing. Yo, this uses two batteries. This is the this is the the snow thrower. Uses two Iron Man batteries. Unreal. Oh, that was pretty sweet too. I know. Thirty-five di uh, feet throwing distance. Use that in Chicago every winter. That thing's amazing. I know. Even when it gets to the. Uh, um, all the snow down in the, the driveway when the plow comes through, the heavy snow. Oh yeah, it'll through. throw it. And the good part is, is that this is a single stage, so it'll get you down to the, to the it'll make it a bare sidewalk for you. Absolutely. And convenience features, left, right, good to go. Yo, next year, next year, I think, I think Craig should do like a, um, a simulation. Snow. Well, simulate it. It'll be sand, and we can throw sand with the snow thrower across the venue to the other side. What do you think? Aim it at the <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's crazy. Right, you like to put on your backpack? It is. Iron Man. I won't. I... Iron Man. So literally, we could power anything with this. No, so there's three specific um, tools. So the blower, the string trimmer, and the head trimmer, all in our commercial line. So the entire weight of the backpack, and this will run all day. There you go. Oh my! God. Again, no weight in the tool. So if you're running this all day, you know, commercial grade. Yo, this thing is unbelievable. Watch this. Watch. Do you see the difference? <laughs> this is unreal. What else we power with this? The head trimmer and the string trimmer. All, all three handheld tools. How do we? How do we come? I don't want to break anything, so we just yank it out. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Pretty cool. Yo, this is like the 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 plug, the dongle that Doc Brown, when, he, when 
they were. When he gets the 1.21 gigawatts. Literally, this is the dongle that Doc Brown had to put back together when they're trying to send Marty back to the future. It was unreal. So that's very so specific. So the trimmer. These, uh, three products. So the new string trimmer. Stuck in here a little bit. There you go. Wow. All right, where do we plug her in? Oh, there you go. Right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. All right. Yeah, let's not touch that one. How's it going? Fantastic. Did you click it in? You gotta click it in. Wow, it's in. I'm not going to get too crazy with it for liability's sake, but pretty awesome and balanced. Really balanced. And then what's the third tool, Craig? That's the hedge trim. Oh, the hedge trim is. So all of your handheld landscaping needs. I just wanted to try to make it a little easier for you next time. This is crazy. Oh, once again. I mean, so this is the deal with this, right? This is even. This is even like. Really, this is lighter than a gas-powered alternative. You don't have that motor anymore. No. Jimmy, you need a trim? No. I'll take a little off the top. Pretty cool. It's amazing. So, specialized system runs off the backpack battery. But if you really like that backpack concept, yes. with our regular batteries, we have what's called the Link. Oh, wow. You know what? I thought I saw something about the Link. Right, so you can put your full battery in here. So um, Alright, so your working battery in here. Wait a minute. Then that connects to the dummy battery. Oh this can run any tool as well. So let me feel this. So zero weight there. So it is 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 I was gonna say, is it any lighter, but it is. Yeah, and then you put all the weight, especially if you get the larger seven and a half amp hour battery, you're gonna want that on your back. Yeah. And now you can run all the handheld tools. It's amazing. Same way, backpack system. Listen, if you like none of the weight but all the power, you probably would like the link system. We appreciate Craig for showing it to us. Thank you, Vince. Thank you so much. <laughs> Everybody, thanks for being here. We'll see you on the next one. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Shervon's history is in um, making products initially for um, you know other brands. Yes. And then ultimately for retailer brands, right? So we worked to partner with in the past Craftsman under the Sears brand. So a lot of the Ego products you see today were proposed at one point under some of these and it didn't work out so well. Is that nuts? And ultimately they said we're going to come to market with their own brand. It's like the, it's like the story of Ray Kroc. Unbelievable. He went with his milkshake making machine over to uh, all these other you know, people. He got turned down 26,000 times. And then the 26,000 in one time, the McDonald brothers said yes. Look at him now. Video's over. But I know you want more, so this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here.